team which gets the most hits will share a cash prize. Black Trucks, sports writer George Plimpton, on assignment for Sports Illustrated magazine, will box three rounds with the middleweight champion of the world, the great Sugar Ray Robinson. Sunday, Sheep's Meadow, Central Park, 11-ish. George, Oscar, have to talk to you. Call me. George, please call Jeannie at Murray Hill 1, 4654. That's Jeannie at MU1, 4654. George, this is Oscar. For God's sake, return your calls. Oscar, this place looks like a disaster area. <gasps> Arthur's article on NATO, 
Yeah. The Baldwin interview. Fine. Bernadette's poem. Which one? This one. Okay. Anything else? Yes. Scrub my back. <laughs> Mm. Throw me a shovel pass to the right. Let's go! Where the hell were you? You're I supposed said... to be talking. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on. No, no, George. Six. That's the magic number. That's how many articles you still owe us. I know. That's what I'm thinking every minute. Oh, yeah. More about editing your magazine than writing for mine. Hey, how about skydiving? We could use a piece. You know, how it feels floating down from 10,000 feet, especially on the first jump. No, thank you, Oscar. Touch football. Touch. Two hands below the waist. I know. Just look carried away. All right, let's go. Come on, let's play. <laughs> look, George, I've got it. Something with a little circus color, see? Like standing up for a knife thrower. Huh? No. Come on, it's our down. Okay, uh... And you go down about ten yards and cut into the center, okay? Right. Oh, listen. Now, some guys ride the backs of sharks. They say it's a hell of a thrill. And not too dangerous at all. You just sneak up behind the shark and grab hold of the dorsal fin. Oscar, you're the left guard. Sure, sure. Oscar, I think I can beat Ken. Why don't you send me a shovel pass to the left? Okay? Let's go. Ready? Hi, George, I've got it. Pro football. You're a rookie quarterback trying to make the team. Tackling you. Oh, yeah. Okay, come on, come on. Now look, listen, George. No kidding. There's a lot of interest in Pro Bowl. It's damn near the national sport. I could see the whole six articles on it. That would get you off the hook with me completely. Come on, Oscar, get bummed. Oh, I don't know about that. He got in the ring with Sugar Ray, didn't he? Not a guy with gloves. It's eleven with bare knuckles. Sure, he'd get destroyed. I don't think so. George has a certain amount of natural ability. Right. He pitched for the All Stars, didn't he? <laughs> you bet your life he did. <laughs> My God, what a game that was. I still say it's not just a matter of him getting out there by himself and throwing the ball, you know. Yeah, he'd have to learn the play, his workout with the team. No club would let him. Well, that's Sports Illustrator's job, and I think we can set it up. Yeah, I still think he's gonna get killed, and I've got a grand to back it up. Yeah, well, I say he'll do all right, maybe even damn good, and I've got a grand to back that up. Now, let's go over to my house and have a drink. <laughs> George? I didn't say anything. Aren't you a little old for stunts? Oh, it's better than riding a shark. Personally, I think you ought to have your head examined. It should be easy. You'll be holding it in your hands. <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> Go on out for a pass. No, thank you. I've hung up my cleats. football from the inside. Is that what you really want, George? That's the idea, Coach. In other words, you want the fans to get a real good look at the head knocking, the training, etc., that goes into the making of a professional football team. That's it. And then at the end, I go into a real game and run off a few plays at quarterback. A real game? You've got to be kidding. No, that's what the whole thing is leading to. <laughs> and you mean to tell me that 
You went three rounds with Sugar Ray Robinson. Pitch to the All-Stars, huh? Well, I will say it's an interesting idea, a real interesting idea. But you know, George, we carry four quarterbacks now. And to ask us to carry five, I think that would be a real headache. I just don't think it will work. Have you tried the AFL? Did Mr. Reeves get my letter explaining everything? No. No, no, you see, the idea is for me, an amateur, to go through the Rams training camp. It's all explained in my letter. It... Oh, never mind, no. No, no, it's all right. No, thank you very much. Goodbye. Okay, get off a letter to the Colts, the Bears, and the Lions. The thing is, I haven't been able to get any clubs to go along with me yet. I was kind of hoping you'd put in a good word for me with the Giants. I've got a good word for you, George. Forget about being quarterback. Just stay out of the pit, George. Whatever you do, stay out of the pit. Hi, Doug. Frank, I appreciate what you're saying. But it has to be quarterback. That's the nerve center of the team. George, you're crazy. Why don't you just forget this whole idea? These guys are big. 6'5", 6'6", 250, 260 pounds. What if they make a mistake? Remember Y.A. Tittle in the Pittsburgh game in 1964? One shot. We missed one block. Zip, he's out for the season. John Baker hit him a shot you would not believe. And I know you saw the Baltimore L.A. game a couple of years ago. What they did to Johnny Unitas was inhuman. These are well-conditioned professional athletes. They're big. They make a mistake, something goes wrong, they hit you one time, it is all over. Forget about it, George. Come, George, come dance with me. And, George, if a club does say yes, remember, stay out of the pit. Oh, he's off his rock.